There we go. Maybe I'll remember down the road. But yeah, this is gonna be this there, there there'll be some weird takes in there, I'm sure. So what do we got? Left hand side, fortitude, bottom left hand side, one two zero. He's trying to go fiends again. But rather Ted Fiends. Full-time forum writer, that's for sure. So it's somewhat Ted Fiends for early harass to buy time for 40. Yesterday, 1 to 0 and 40 played Human Undead for the first time. I think it worked a lot better than the Human Orc experiment. And I like the idea of going Ted Fiends. Fiends clearly superior to ghouls, especially when you know that there's gonna be Dryads. And just a better positioning with them as well, as ghouls in 2 and 2 fall way too quickly. Plus, you don't have the downtime of this late tech and late hero presence. This is a smart adjustment. At least it fixes the issues that we've seen before. Maybe that's opening them up to new... ...weaknesses, though. So Night Elf Orc has always been there, goes through several variations, has some Alterna mode of course with Demon Hunter Keeper and Farseer Blade Master in steady rotation. But if 40 and 1 to 0 buy enough time with their heroes here and reach the late game, then the Night Elf Orc team is in a world of trouble. And I think Lin is already in quite a bit of trouble, losing headhunters here left and right. In my book, this opening worked. Fasia always supposed to buy time. He did buy time for the Demon Hunter, to be fair. But these heroes will be exposed to Coil Nova Stomp Banish. Stomp? No, Stomp is on the inside. But Coil Nova Banish. Coil Nova Banish is really strong. I think you just one tap the Fasia, right? On the flip side of things, not only is the Farseer relatively low, the DK is very low. And that is a problem. So 40 has to buy time, but how to buy time when you're pressured the entire game? He's also underleveled. So clearly sacrificing early game for late game. And Lin and Colorful, they're pretty smart as a 2-2 two two team. Is this a power vacuum that they might expose? And punish. Dude, the Naga has a higher level than the DK. The 
that they're doubling down on this. They got 1 2 0 and a chokehold. TC! Good for them to TP away. I think this could have been worse than just one fiend. They gotta bridge the tech. They gotta. Where is 40? Oh, creeping the X ball. 1 2 0 has to survive. 1 on 2. Archmage inventory absurd, by the way. But they can't crack. The player's forces are under attack. <laughs> really? Men are burning the priest? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe to give him credit, another TP force. Mana will re restore on the heroes, and maybe you don't siphon the priest, so that target is worth it. Get some five head play. So since all the town portals were drawn, one to zero has to walk in, and there's no real blocker. Rifle caster, fiends casters. But mana sustain is absurd. On a, on two races who are heavily depending on mana, having Archmage Brilliance Aura and a Blood Mage seems really good. But let's see if that works out in practice as well. The mana battery is on. TC, oh, the save with the banish and the combo with the coil. Lovely to see. But Blood Mage is a bit egocentric at the moment. Just siphoning, not distributing. Militia support and I push them back. Yo, and... This is a strong, strong timing now. For 1, 2, 0 and 40. How do you hold this? Moonwells? Available, but limited? Peasants are here? Items? Not available, but a shop might fix this. Okay, TC vs Blood made two dice first, one in wool immediately, nude. TC again burn either dead or empty or step nicely taking care of the cow Fortitude lost quite a bit, but I think this was all militia kind of meaningless the reposition archmage hurts a little bit 1 to 0 also losing some And it could be massive losses on the inside now That's 10 food about to drop, but he saves most of it. Oh wow Clutch fights here. This fight will decide the game shop up DK can go for clarities even a and the front line is breaking apart they need a play but how do you enable plays without mana statue sustain plus brilliance aura might be too good in the long run there's no equivalent on the other side so they gotta brute force this blood mage safe for now finish oh boy can't coil him of course he and now he's dead oh my god God, did the Blood Mage get deleted here? So close to the shop, maybe heal, heal potions were empty already. Pickaxe power against the Berserker, can't save that one. But Colorful and Lin, there's barely anything left. And Fortitude played the Sacrificial Lamb for 1 2 0, still standing strong. The push is still alive, another Dryad runs straight into the rifles. And now we got the Blood Mage back, who doesn't need much. You said he's not distributing and he immediately started giving mana to the DK. I guess you are the Puppet Master. But I'm like the opposite. I am the Banshee. Can someone Photoshop me or AI art me into a Banshee costume? 
please? That would be dope. <laughs> you mean ban me? <laughs> Demon Hunt is still trying. They're catching up on food. But that means there's more resources for heal scrolls. They got one. Colorful is now supply blocked. And I seriously struggle to see how they win the war of attrition. So many mana potions, so much moon juice. TC aiming for the heroes and he gets all three. But not enough banish. Oh, backfires here. Needs to dispel it. Level 3 on the DK. Finally. God damn, that took some time. Fork Lightning at a nice position. Demon Hunter Lich. Another huge stomp. Lin is finding amazing targets here. Chain Lightning gets the kill. No way they're holding this. Supply is neck and neck. They still got the shop. Boy, oh, needs something. Coil Ultra last second. Keeps the Lich alive. Keeps the push alive. Reinforcement streaming in, of course. Colorful is so rich. This time, Potion does the job. Oh, we might get a coil. Avada, Kedavra, DH is dead. And that's game. Uh-oh. Fortitude and 120 take map number one. They might tie up the series. After 2-0. We are getting close, and man, do I like the thought process behind this 2-on-2 two two strat. Clearly working on the flaws, clearly using other timings while using the same unit combo. Doubling down on piercing damage, though. That I didn't expect. So, did anyone did the Banshee Neo AI? With Photoshop should be easy nowadays. Why would Archmage pick Brilliant Sora over Blizzard in a 2-2 two and two with Undead and having the Blood Mage? Statues never run out of mana and can create more mana. The synergy is just insane. And it was a lot of Dryad, so Blizzard wouldn't have done too much. And there were Raiders to interrupt it and Stomp to interrupt it. I think easy choice. Perhaps the statues make sense. Yeah, it's a bit counterintuitive. That it does. Good question. Gladly answering more of this. Yakman 311. Thank you very much for the 21 month. Well done, Yakman. Plus Templars. Do you want to look like Sylvanas or the Ghost Banshee? Ghost Banshee! Yeah, yeah, definitely Ghost Banshee. Survival training is on it. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go. I got a new song, by the way. Someone created a Back to Warcraft Ska song. Someone. It's Shorty. Who already created the DK New York Hardcore song. Maybe I cosplay a Banshee at Rara Land. How about that? After people were up in arms about colored fingernails at last Rara, I feel like I could double down. Maybe the Banshee is, is inspiring me. You think I could rock a dress? That's a great idea. I know, right?
just to piss people off, it would be quite funny. Your wife got timed out for asking what esports is? No, that shouldn't happen here. I mean, that's just a question. That's not balance wine. I think you gotta show people the ropes. How we handle things here. That little, that little kick was justified. 41 to 0. Could tie up the match 2-2. Two, two. It would look great. Oh, thank you. You could rock a killed. Rock the dress, but keep the beard. Right? If you don't pull a complete cosplay, I will consider you a coward. <laughs> Rightfully so. Rightfully so. So, any changes? We got a keeper. Yeah, keeper worked wonders against the fiends. I think that's the double edged sword, right? You'd like to continue with the Ted fiends, but you have to contest for the fountain. So none of that is really possible, so he goes for ghouls for fast attack and map presence. Ooh, that looks a bit fragile though. How would you define esports? That goes a little too far for in-game chatter. Tech isn't faster with fast ghouls. Compared to fiends? Compared to fast fiends? Definitely faster. Compared to Ted fiends? Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. I was comparing... Uh, I was comparing to fast fiends. Slight misunderstanding here. Oh good. I'm glad we got that sorted, Lucian. I don't want to beef with you. But I would have pulled out the stopwatch if you say that ghouls and fast fiends have the same tech timing. Then uh... we approach the temple, you know what that means. Bring the bathrobe. Good old Monday afternoon bathing time. And yo, that keeper can be an absolute force here. If he's alive and healthy. They do a good job. They're kind of hiding this expansion during the time where you can test for the fountain. I like that timing a lot. Expansion's really rare. In two and two, so you go, oh that call misses, uh, so you wouldn't necessarily expect it. And hunts headhunters counter footman ghouls so hard. Is the hunts low water elementals? I don't think so, but okay, they clean this up. Good engagement into headhunters, little careless by Lin. This positioning here, the problem is still hunts.
Hunts, of course. Amazing power spike in the early game. And then they fall flat on their faces. All two of them. Whenever there's piercing damage. Mulan? Who's Mulan? Bro. Expo here. Coming up. This is just a farm. This must be fountain for linen color. Okay, DK asleep. No coil. Smelling this expansion, but this of course not the place, not the time. The Huns. Mulan counters the Huns. That flew over my head. Ay ay ay. Oh <laughs> wow. I'm a bit embarrassed. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Yep, you're right. That was a good one. Brilliant Zora now on the side of Colorful and the so important scout by 40. Okay, they know the gameplay in has to revolve around kicking a base. I don't think they have the time to counter expand. But rifles look fine. <gasps> How many ghouls? Zero! There's no threat. Oh my god, did you see this archmage? Did anyone look at this archmage? You should take a look at this Archmage. It's double damage. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The player's forces are under attack. But uh, Living Colorful got the fountain. Health stone and mana stone. And fortitude and one to zero are on a timer. They can't really expand anymore. Tier three, Dark Ranger. Let's go. Wait, no orb. Ooh. Ooh, that ah, I got an orb. Okay, got an orb, got an orb, got an orb. Just not part of the advanced overlay. The ouch mate! <laughs> Great. Yep. Perfect. Speaking of ouch, Lich had a little ouch, but also the ghoul frenzy timing. Lin must get PTSD from all the one on ones recently. Stomp TC, but surrounded. 1 to 0 with solid ghoul play here. And that's a kill right there. Town portal in by Colorful Hunts to the rescue, but a lot of them are hurt. Ooh, we don't have heal scrolls, right? No, we don't. Can they just close this out? The expo of Colorful didn't mind for a long time. This is a lot of experience at the very least. And skeletons, of course. And they tap out too much. They got him good. They got him hard. And the ouch mage takes the W. Colorful was so hurt portaling in. What was he doing? What happened to these poor hunts? That was one hell of a razor sharp timing.